What's going on everybody? I'm Sonic Him and I'm back with another banger for you guys. And in case you guys are new to my page here, my channel, what we do is that I help guys here who have been through a divorce or a breakup, or you really just want to be reintroduced or get into the dating scene and attract a quality partner. And I teach you guys how to do exactly that using natural attraction. And so today we're gonna be taking a step forward for you guys with the number one reason why women dump men. This is so simple and basic, but a lot of you guys need to know this stuff. And so let's jump into the disclaimers for this video. The first one is that having a great relationship was impossible for me until I learned what I'm about to share with you guys today. Most of you believe dating is a waste of time because dating apps, getting ghosted or getting rejected or a breakup, you went through a bad breakup or a divorce. I'm about to share with you why women dump men, but also what to do if you've been dumped, how to handle it. They say that knowledge is power and that's not necessarily true. Knowledge is only potential power because knowledge is not power if you don't apply apply something or all of it that you learned from it. And so I want you guys to apply this video, not only just watch it, but apply it. This is not only a story about me, about what I went through, but a couple of my clients' success stories as well about how they handled this and then how they're making huge changes and how they've made changes in order to reach success with their dating life fairly quickly. So let's jump into it. Number one, the first point is that too much smothering and attention leads to the number one reason why women dump men. But we need to explain this. So what does this exactly mean? She loses interest fast when you overwhelm her with attention, period. You can't date quality if you put yourself last, right? It will be a waste of time if you treat yourself as a waste of time, right? A lot of guys are like, oh, well, dating is just a waste of time nowadays. That's not fucking true. That's just stupid. That's a limiting belief that you have because it would feel like a waste of time for me if I was putting in all this effort for so long and getting nowhere or went through a divorce and all that time was for nothing, right? Of course, would feel like a waste of time. But she's gonna lose interest fast when you are showing her that you are more interested than her, right? And this leads into this point, you're putting her on a pedestal. In a relationship, hardly ever is there equality with interest for each other. There is always, and the majority of the time, one likes another a little bit more, right? The guy likes the girl a little bit more, or the girl likes the guy just a little bit more. And what happens when the guy likes the girl a little bit more, he starts becoming attached and he starts operating from a place of scarcity, which means a lack of, right? a lack of other women, a lack of having abundance in his life. He has only one woman in his life to focus on and he likes her a little bit more than she likes him. And when, as soon as she sniffs this and just gets a whiff of it, just can sense this, that she starts to slowly pull away. And when she slowly pulls away, what happens to the guy? It starts going like this, right? And the guy starts sensing now that she's pulling away and he's becoming more interested and she's becoming less interested. Now the polarity is completely going out of whack. He starts chasing her and just doing things that he never thought he would catch himself doing, like paying for shit in her apartment or buying her nails every week and he's not even sleeping with her and it just completely gets out of whack. So chances are you're putting her on a pedestal because you're in a scarcity mindset like we just described. You have a mindset of lack and you're unsure of yourself. The truth hurts but something that you guys need help with and something I do in my program is I help you guys get that certainty in yourself because if you don't have the dating skills it's almost like you're always firing just blindly right because you have no idea what's going to stick or not and once you know natural attraction and have those dating skills it's very predictable and consistent this process. Processes. Don't date yet if you're broke, if money is tight, or you're just cheap, because cheap equals low quality, and cheap men equals a low quality man. And women are always gonna dump you for that, right? They're just like, I wanna feel like this guy is dominant. He has the balls to be able to protect me and take care of me. If shit were to hit the fan, you're overwhelming her and smothering her. Also, a part of the reason is because, hey, she feels like you would just do this with any girl that was giving you the same attention that she gives you, and so she pulls away. She doesn't feel special because of that reason, which causes her to pull away way and then also makes you chase even more and more. Literally this happened to me, my story of how I got here from here, but how I was dumped and now my dream relationship is that this was me before back in 2017, 2016, 2017, or 2018. One of those three years right there. I think it was 27, 2018. I believe this was in the winter time. So it was about Christmas time of 2017. I had just gotten fucking dumped. I thought that I was head over heels in love with her and I was just crazy about her. I got dumped and I was chasing her, right? I was broke. I had no money. I was complaining about money, right? My ex dumped me. It sucks. She dumped me about like two months before this. And I was trying to make a recovery, but I just missed her so much. And I was trying so hard to get her and trying hard to get my ex back. And what I realized, because like the more that I chased her, it seemed like the more she would pull away and the less interested she would become. I was trying everything. I was like, I'll buy you whatever you wanted. I was saying like, I'll buy you whatever you wanted. Like I was willing to put myself in the debt for this girl. And she was just not going for anything. And I was like, well, why is this? And I was like, because, well, as I look back, I'm just 
Like it's because who I was at the start wasn't who I was when it finished, right? Somewhere along the lines, like I just slowly changed and I realized that I was changing myself to please this girl and she just lost all respect for me. Something that I tell a lot of the guys in my program, I'm gonna show you a couple guys in a second, but I tell them the amount of pain you feel in a breakup is congruent to the amount of change you made for her in the relationship. Probably rings a bell for a lot of you guys. And so I was feeling so much pain and I realized it's because I made so much fucking change. And women don't want you to change for them. They want you to be her rock, her mountain. They want you to be stern. They want you to always be centered, confident. Even if you're not confident, you can't show weakness, right? A lot of guys are like, oh, like it's okay to cry around, around women. Yeah, it's okay to cry around women if you want them to lose all fucking respect for you and test the shit out of you and just eventually disrespect you and leave you. Yeah, then it's okay to cry around women. But to me, that's not okay because I want a quality relationship. Women are emotional while men need to remain strong, stoic, and confident. That is just how a relationship needs to be masculine and feminine polarity in order to have attraction. If you don't have those two things, then there won't be any polarity and they start looking like each other. The woman gets fucking fat. She cuts her hair short. The guy gets fat. He's growing his hair out. Like they look almost the same. It's fucking scary. It's because there's no polarity in that relationship. And this is me after I learned that. Started a great business coaching guys around the world. Wrote a best-selling book right here, Waking the Core of Man. If you guys have not read this book yet, you need to. I'm going to assume that if you haven't read the book yet, then you must like pain and rejection <laughs> and heartbreak and divorce. You guys need to read this fucking book. Have my dream relationship with my beautiful girlfriend, Brittany. I was just swimming in Cabo with dolphins. We're going back sometime this summer or fall. I'm pretty excited to go. But coaching men all around the world on this topic, which I'm about to show you right now. And here's what to do instead. Number three, relax with the over texting and reaching out. Let her come to you. Make her wait for responses. Don't be afraid to say no at times. You don't have to be so agreeable, right? You're like, a lot of guys are like, oh, if I don't say yes to her and do this for you, then she's going to leave me. Do you really want to be in a relationship like that anyway, where you feel like she's going to leave you if you don't do something for her? Fuck that. That's not a relationship I want. So you need to learn natural attraction, the dating skills that I teach all my clients. Because a lot of you guys have a great life on the flip side. You look good on paper. You have a decent career. You travel, but dating and that dream relationship, it's the last missing piece. You need to change if you want things to change. Just like my clients below, you need to take action and change the stuff. Women love action takers. And chances are, if you're being dumped, chances are you're letting her make all the decisions. Or you let her make all the decisions. Or you're so unsure of yourself. This is something that you need to be sure of is that you need to fix this. You need to take action. Look at Adam from Arizona. That looks like Las Vegas though, but he lives in Arizona and he's a fucking beast. Like he went through a divorce, joined my program. He had to split the program down into payments over time. If you guys have like a decent credit score, you can break down the program, I think to like 170-ish now for 36 months over time. Like there's another one that's like four or $500 per month for 12 months. I think there's another one that's like 600 or something like that per month, like 500. I can't remember per month for six months, I think. It's like, if you guys can do something like that, if you can make those payments, then you need to do this and take action. Because look at him now. Like he went through a divorce. He's like, dude, dating has been so fucking hard for me. And now joins three months in. Win this week, boys. I was able to approach five women in person and currently actively texting two of them as we speak. This week has been gold for me. I want to do a testimonial with him because he's just such a cool guy. Like he has a family, he has a daughter, but he's like, you know what? I really just want to be happy and just have a dream relationship. That's what we're helping him do. It's really fucking inspiring. Going on a date tonight. It's been a while. Wish me luck, boys. We have Matthew here too, man. He's around the same age as Adam, I believe, a little bit younger, but he went on a date, had his first date, ended well on a kiss. Like, it's pretty fucking awesome. But Collide here is another one. Pretty cool guy. I think he's in Minnesota, so, you know, they have the harsh winters out there. <laughs> Not as bad, or probably worse than I have here in Indianapolis, but look at it now. Collide went through a really bad breakup. He said he went through two really toxic breakups, and he's like, there's something that I don't know about this. And that's when I was like, dude, let me teach you. Let me show you what you don't know, man, because that's okay, dude. A lot of guys are like, oh, this isn't manly to do dating advice, but you know what? They're going to view you as weird, whether you have a quality relationship or not, whether you do a dating program or not. And so what do you want to be, man? Do you want to be happy or do you want to worry about what other people think about you? You have to make the decision for yourself. And look at him now. Collide did the same thing. And imagine how people are going to view you after you have your quality relationship. It's going to be fucking beautiful. And look at him now, dating and talking to quality women. Like this is what happens when you take what I do and you apply it. You're going to get results because this is a science. It works and it will work for you, right? If it works for them, it will work for you. And so if you guys want to do my program or like you can't pay everything up front, but like you can split it down to payments like I described earlier, hop on a call with me. There's a call link in the description below. It's like Calendly, I believe, like a one hour talk with me. Hop on a call with me. We'll talk. We'll get you going in the program ASAP. Also, make sure if you have questions about the program and you just want to message me and ask a question about this, then message me on Instagram or Facebook. Those links are in the description below. Also, message me so you're directly from YouTube. We'll talk, go back and forth. Hop on a call, get you going in the program most likely if we believe we can help you actually. And so I'm Selma Kim, America's face of dating 
rating. Make sure you like, comment below any questions you might have. I might make it into a video. And subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.